Does stainless steel block EMF radiation? Humans and animals are constantly being exposed to the electromagnetic field, EMF, radiation from all around us. Our cell phones, wireless routers, microwave ovens, smart meters, computers, TV sets, cable boxes, etc., all emit radiation, even if at varying degrees. Regardless of the intensity, we are exposed to constant exposure for extended periods, which is bound to cause damage to our bodies. Fortunately, there are certain materials that are capable of blocking EMF which will protect us from its dangers. Stainless steel is a material capable of conducting electricity, hence, it can block electromagnetic field radiation. Moreover, specific factors, such as the thickness of the steel, determines the amount of radiation it can block. For example, three sheets will block more EMF than one would. Apart from stainless steel, several other materials can block EMF radiations. Watch this video to learn more about them. And by the way, if you want to minimize the EMF radiation you're exposed to in your daily life, I highly recommend checking out the first link in the description below this video. EMF radiation. People have become increasingly aware of EMF over the last several years. However, most people are still oblivious to the extent of radiation that they are constantly being exposed to in every area of their lives, including their homes, workplaces and even when they sleep. There are also groups of people who are exposed to higher levels of EMF radiation as a result of the nature of their work, especially if they work close to strong radiation sources. People who work close to certain types of equipment like medical scanners, cell towers, high voltage power lines, and such tend to contract various illnesses from exposure to radiation unless protective measures are put in place. Why is EMF radiation dangerous? Electromagnetic field radiation is used to describe both electric and magnetic energy. It is also used to describe radio frequency, RF, energy that is emitted from cell phones and other devices. Electromagnetic signals are usually transmitted in the form of waves with varying frequencies and wavelengths. Radiations are classified into two main groups based on the frequency and wavelength they possess, ionizing and non-ionizing radiations. Ionizing radiation. This type of EMF radiation is extremely dangerous and harmful to all biological life forms, and if you expose yourself to high levels of this radiation for extended periods, it might mean certain death. As opposed to non-ionizing radiations, the effects of ionizing radiations are immediate. Gamma rays and X-rays are the most common examples of ionizing radiation. The waves of ionizing radiation have enough energy to remove electrons from atoms in an ionizing process. When the atoms in any biological life forms ionize, any of the following might happen. The cells of the biological life forms could die. It could repair the damage it sustained. It could mutate incorrectly until it becomes cancerous. It is important to note that not all cells are affected by ionizing energy in the same way. However, the cells that are most vulnerable to its effects reproduce the most. Non-ionizing radiation. Non-ionizing radiation was formerly regarded as harmless. However, continuous research into the radiation has found that assumption to be questionable, so much so that the International Agency for Research on Cancer published a book as regards the risks of contracting cancer through the radiation. Unlike ionizing radiation, the energy emitted by non-ionizing radiation is not sufficient enough to cause ionization. They can, however, vibrate the atom by moving electrons around it. Examples of non-ionizing radiations are radio waves, microwaves, etc. EMF shielding. EMF shielding refers to the methods that can be used to reduce exposure to the radiation emitted by electromagnetic fields. These methods employ various shielding materials that are designed to attenuate electromagnetic energy. As mentioned earlier, it is almost impossible to escape from exposure to EMFs because of how prevalent they are in our environment. As you are reading this article, you are exposing yourself to the EMFs that are being emitted by your smartphone or laptop, whichever one you are currently using. When you go to a cafe and purchase coffee, you are constantly being exposed to radiations from the coffee machine and other devices, etc. The body and design of most electronic devices offer zero resistance to radiation emission. They also operate at high frequencies, therefore, they can easily wreak havoc on the human body. EMF shielding considerably reduces your exposure to these harmful emissions. EMF shielding materials. 
There are several EMF shielding materials available in the market today. However, the first universally accepted shield was the Faraday cage, which was invented in 1836 by Michael Faraday. After this invention, several other materials that can block EMF radiation have been developed using the Faraday cage's principles. Not all EMF shielding materials can block all the emitted radiations, however, they substantially reduce the exposure. Examples of electromagnetic field shielding materials include, but are not limited to Copper Aluminum Stainless steel Mylar How do EMF shielding materials work? An EMF is made up of both an electric field and a magnetic field. An electric field places a force on electrons, which are the charge carriers of conductive materials and the shielding material. In turn, this force induces a current to flow, which results in the displacement of the electric charges within the material. This causes the electric field in the material to become eliminated, thereby enabling the current to stop flowing, which terminates the electric field. Similarly, energy in a magnetic field causes eddy currents, eliminating the fields within or outside the shielding material. Hence, the radiation becomes reflected off the surface, thereby causing the material's internal or external fields to remain inside or outside, respectively. The extent to which an EMF shielding material can block EMF depends on a number of factors, including the electrical resistance of the conducting material. Shielding materials are comprised of a conductive metallic mesh that is thin and light and can be weaved into several products. EMF shielding materials that block radiation EMF shielding materials attenuate emitted signals. They work based on the principle where a wave's force or energy decreases steadily as it flows through various mediums. It is important to note that most shielding materials cannot protect you against the harmful effects of radiation by blocking it completely, however, it can reduce it by 90%. Some examples of this are Decrease in sound intensity as it travels through a wall Reduction in light intensity as it travels through a tinted window. X-ray attenuation as it passes through a lead vest. The following are some materials that can attenuate EMF radiation. Copper. Copper mesh is a highly effective EMF shielding material as it is able to block up to 95% of both EMF and RF radiation of any wavelength. Unlike other materials such as aluminum, steel, etc., the copper mesh thickness does not determine its capability as regards EMF radiation attenuation. If you want to purchase this material, ensure that the mesh's holes are smaller than the wavelength of the radiation it is designed to block. Since electromagnetic waves travel in a straight line, ensure you position the copper mesh material between you and the radiation source. If you wish to keep out EMF rays and still allow natural light in, you can opt for copper mesh screens and specially designed films for windows. Aluminum Aluminum is a very cheap but effective EMF shielding material. It is used to create a barrier known as a Faraday cage that prevents RF waves transmission. You can test out its effectiveness by completely wrapping your cell phone in aluminum foil and calling it from another phone. Your phone won't register any signal because the foil completely blocks out RF waves. The aluminum foil thickness does not determine its effectiveness as a thin foil would work as efficiently as a thick one. However, you need to ensure that the holes in it are smaller than the wavelength of the signal it is going to block. Stainless steel. Stainless steel is an affordable and effective EMF shielding material. However, you need to ensure that the material is continuously conductive and that the holes in it are smaller than the wavelengths of the signal they are trying to block. Mylar Mylar is a lightweight, convenient, and affordable material that functions as an EMF shield when it is placed between you and the radiation source. It is available in different qualities and thicknesses, as well as in varying levels of attenuation. Mylar is one of the most budget-friendly shielding materials you can find on the market, and it is available in different designs. Also, I just want to quickly mention that if you're all concerned about EMF radiation, you should take a second and check out the first link in the description. Conclusion EMF radiations are dangerous energy that accumulates over time in our body and ultimately cause illnesses of one form or the other. The best way to prevent this is to completely discard EMF generating devices. However, if you cannot do this, you can limit your use of these devices and use EMF shielding materials. 
Although stainless steel is not as effective as copper or aluminum in blocking EMF radiation, it can attenuate it to a certain extent. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more useful tips and tricks and visit infardtips.com. Thanks for watching.